Hi people, welcome to my introduction to Star Trek Online. I'm Charlotte. I will be, I will be your host on today's uh, video, and so I will show you how to join and perform in one of the STFs in the game. STFs are end game, uh, well, end game of farming essentially. And last episode we did infected space, normal difficulty. And so we are now going to do a cure space in normal difficulty. Uh, by the way, there's not much difference regarding the, uh, the um, computer workings between normal and uh, elite difficulties. There is a difference in in tactics, however that imply maximizing player's damage, focusing and uh, well essentially trying to do stuff before you get your hands full. In fact, uh, infected space requires uh, a lot of DPS output in, uh, in one given moment that uh, well Essentially, you you don't all for uh, what was the name all for generators to ten percent health after disposing of uh, the sphere and then destroying them and the transformer as quickly as possible before anything reaches them. Uh, this is again core space. You need to protect the Ikea uh, Kang, which is a Klingon ship and destroy be before 15 minutes all three bar cubes. Uh, how are we going to do that? The safest way is the one I'm going to engage now which involves approaching from behind th to the cubes to the cubes. Remember we have we are flying a cruiser. They have a lot of uh, what's the name? Inertia. So it's a little harder to well, make them work. In fact, we can see we are at inside the, the cube's effective uh, attacking rank. Also, don't abuse of uh, going backwards because it can drain your energy quickly. And uh, I believe we are good now to go, are we? Yes, 10.6, perfect. Fired well. It is important to focus on the same side. So, uh, this, uh, as I said, we need to defend the IKS Kang and destroy every uh, all these cubes before 15 minutes. Also, if we go in here, the IKS Kang can't go down 75% health points or a hull uh, at, uh, while we are here. All the time we are here, every set, in, every set uh, amount of minutes uh, from all three shipyards some enemies will spawn in pairs. Uh, first it will be you can see heavy plasma torpedoes in there. Uh, first, we will see bursts of prey, which are already overdue, I believe. No way they aren't spawning uh, still. Then there will be Borg Raptors, and finally, it will be uh, Neck Bar warships. Uh, you can see some three Borg Raptors have already spawned. That's because there they are, bursts of prey every three minutes and a half, I believe. Anyway, uh, these raptors will... what's the name? Uh, will spawn when you have uh, destroyed a set number of probes. Like we saw in the previous map, Infected Space, you need to follow a chain of destruction before attacking the cube or it will heal itself. That means you first need to destroy the nanite probes, all of them, before attacking the cube. Not only because it will, it has a lot of oil. Oh, yeah. 
it gets a lot of more uh, of health regeneration but because it also uh, gets bonus damage okay we have it now and we can attack freely so more on combat uh, you might have noticed that the Vorkuf just ensnared me with the uh, attractor beam and I used this uh, polarized hull to get out you can use that or for example uh, the tactics uh, Omega attack pattern Omega I believe it was so <clears throat> now that we destroy the cube by the way two raptors will be will spawn automatically uh, there they are and they will come from all the different uh, well for the remaining shipyards and of course they will attack the IKS Kang by the way these mobs will not attack anything until they reach a, a fixed uh, distance from the AKS Kang so you can attack them uh, well freely if you want without any kind of problem and here we can see a dreadnought in action yes strange uh, it seems to be using something strange weapon configuration with uh, a small amount of um, with some cannons but not m much of them <coughs> and it tries to maneuver sorry pal we are flying cruisers we don't come with any kind of uh, turning system and the AKS can, can use a little hands on healing anyway it is uh, of well it's fairly easy to end this game if uh, one of you keeps there protecting the ship from the ads and everybody kills whatever ads spawns where they are I'm going to deploy now my Aquarius escort oh dear there we go again and uh, in try I will try to kill everything anyway snares I was to, uh, talking about them before uh, there's a defense uh, you already know I have elusive with all my my ships and that uh, well I, this, the defense capability means that uh, it's harder to hit you and you will get hit for fewer damage uh, the, the defense also depends on the speed that you are traveling if you are static not moving you are much easier to hit than if you're moving it's kind of strange considering that uh, well a cruiser can be uh, it's easy pr to predict regardless of its uh, speed because of the low low turn rate so well it's you can fire a little to the front uh, and I'm talking about targeting because well those are light beams anyway leaving that side and now that there goes another of this let me turn power to engines see if I can get to the next position without all the action finished yeah perfect there we are, Borg Neckbar ships fire at will all cooldowns blown and some mines of course fire at will seems to mean fire at the biggest shit you can see in the, mon in the screen oh well uh, <coughs> Well, as I told you, speed uh, is related to defense. In fact, uh, what I did to go faster, evasive maneuvers, gives you a flight speed bonus, a turn rate bonus, a turn rate bonus, and some extra defense. Plus 
the defense you get from you get from the speed. Anyway, we have still six mi uh, minutes to go, and we have to destroy everything in here. Time to accelerate a little and start firing. Uh, we need to destroy the first echelon of probes before that means these four in the vase before going to the four up there well I believe there are twelve uh, uh, there it might be twelve instead sorry I thought uh, it was it was four per level it's only three not a great problem in fact better that way because well up the chains you go you can see they regenerate power even when they, we are talking about an already destroyed probe it needs to just to explode so <coughs> we are attacking the enemy with all we get and the auto targeting is quite bad fire that wheel again and ignore as much of the enemy shielding as we can with this skill here which by the way is uh, requires an engineer uh, to teach it to your bridge officer I find it fi fairly funny I mean oops was it no this is Nadion inversion draining is harder oh well I find fi uh, fairly interesting that you can teach your rich officers something that you can't use. It's funny. Game mechanics, anyway. Not to worry about. Nothing to worry much about. Okay, but Raptor, the cube. Now, this is important. You won't uh, beat the optional objective with just the destruction of the cube. Okay? And by the way, where's my Aquarius Escort? Might have blown up. Let's recall it. Yeah. It was back there, lost in whatever. So you see the optional objective keeps running. That's because you need to go to where the IKS Kang is and hail it. Hi Kang, how are you? Well, the, the Kang is a ship and you need to be a little closer you see we hit continue and we get the extra items which is good and now the second part of the map comes up the second part of the map is by the way uh, something that should... yes there it is a simulated carrier okay let's go to battle stations really seriously the simulated carrier, like the carrier class of the Klingon fleet, uh, is well. <laughs> it spawns uh, fighter craft all the time. Fighters are not really that tough, but uh, they can be uh, they can dish a lot of damage by sheer numbers and the amount of them uh, these ships can deploy. So they yes can be a, a, a big a menace, a big threat, and uh, it's a good idea to blow them as fast as possible. And uh, well, you can see this is uh, an easy fight, uh, not really dangerous and complicated as long as you keep pounding the carrier and not letting the ads to pile up and you don't even need to worry much about uh, other spawns uh, or the like so the, uh, for me this map is a little easier than infected because you don't need to worry about uh, any, well about stuff appearing and the like and you can see the carrier blows up and the ads disappear but uh, the, the thing in here is that uh, you can fail this mission if the IKS Kang that stands by the way for Imperial Klingon ship I believe uh, if the Kang is destroyed then the mission fails and you will get no rewards nothing to show you at home 
Anyway, we have ended the mission, we can fly home, and you can see I left some working bees behind me. The game is so cruel in that uh, kind of stuff. I mean, my tripulation breeds like tribbles, die uh, like flies, and oh well. And this is something I didn't show you the last time. We are now on cooldown, so we can't uh, try to run this map for Cure Space, both Elite and Normal, for an hour. If I leave the map before it has ended, it will place all my STFs, that means Cure, gro uh, cure Grounds, Cure Space, Infected Ground, Infected Space, Kitamera Course, Grounds and Space, on cooldown for an hour, regardless of, of uh, how ma uh, much time they had uh, before going out of cooldown. <coughs> so try not to leave your partners in a pinch. Uh, again, besides of everything we've got, in this case a Kardashian lockbox, green one, well, at least it's not a golden one that will force me to spend nearly 10,000 dilithium into something that won't serve me of much. And uh, then encrypted data chip. Another quantum mine launcher. Oh well. Deflectors and engines tend to be fairly pricey. And let me see what else do I have in here. Nothing. Okay. And that's all. That was in a uh, curious space. You can see it's fairly simple, fairly easy, and it doesn't require so much uh, attention. Just one guy to sit on top of the Kang and protect it from the different spawns. It's easier if it's a fast ship that can go near the cubes, kill, uh, pound the, the, the adds from their wear to the Kang and then go to the next one. But again, it's fairly easy because the first wave is only birds of prey, the second wave is... Uh, and only four of them should reach the Kang, the second wave, only two raptors should reach the Kang, and the last one, well, nothing should reach the Kang. Remember to kill any ads uh, you can, because that's the priority in normal version of the STFs. In Elite version, you might need to do things other ways. By the way, that's just a uh, yeah, Beranus fleet support vessel. No, that was a science vessel from the Klingons. Thought it was something else. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and find it uh, useful. This was um, my tactical guide on STF. Uh, cure space. Have fun and I'll see you around in the next video where we will cover Kitomer space normal difficulty. Bye!